What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to cover how to go ahead and upgrade or swap your PS4 hard drive while you can still keep your jailbreak. So what I'm going to cover in this video guys, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and swap your hard drive uh, on your PS4. What I'm using is a PS4 Fat, but however, I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's done on a PS4 Slim and a PS4 Pro as well. All of this while ensuring to keep your 6.72 jailbreak. And of course, it can work for a lower firmware as well. If you're doing it for a 5.05 or any firmware below 6.7, you can get it done. So guys, there's two different ways to do this. If at all you want to go ahead and swap your hard drive and start fresh from the 6.72 firmware, you can go ahead and continue with that. Or else, if you really care about the games and the game saves and you want it exactly the way it was, then you'll have to do a cloning of one hard drive to another. And I'll cover that too in this particular video. So with that mentioned, guys, there are some requirements for this one. Obviously, you need to have the PS4 firmware, that's 6.72. You need to have an external hard drive enclosure, maybe two of them in case you want to go ahead and clone your hard drive. And finally, you need a USB pen drive or an external hard drive in order to have the 6.72 firmware installed. All right, guys, I'm going to go and cover all of this in the video. So let's go. All right, guys, the first thing you need is the 6.72 firmware. So this is the website I recommend to go ahead and get it from. And I'm going to drop the link in the description so you can go and check it out. So when you come into this particular link, you do have, if you click on system, you can see all the different firmwares over here, all the way to the latest one. And there it is, guys. So firmware 6.72. Once you click that, it should open up dialog. And you can see here it's 442 MB, which is actually the update file. So we don't really want to go to the system. You'll have to go with the recovery firmware because we need to go ahead and install it from scratch. Click on 6.72 firmware and you'll get this particular pop-up here so if you download this it should be almost close to 1 gb now that's the file that you need and it should be named as ps4 update.pup all right so once you go ahead and download that i'm going to show you how to label it in your external hard drive your usb so here you go guys this is my external hard drive that's wd and just ignore all of the other files so what's really important is the ps4 folders you need to create a folder called ps4 once you open that ignore all the other files what you really need is the update folder so once you open the update folder, I do have three different firmwares over here. That's the old firmware. And this one is actually the update one. The one we saw was only 400 MB plus. So that's not what we need, but what we need is a recovery firmware that's one GB. So just to make it clear, I'm gonna rename this. Uh, so let's just call it 672 update file. So now that's clear. So all we're gonna do is now it's gonna read only the, as only the one that's renamed as PS4 update or PUP. So I'm gonna eject this now. Let's go to the PS4. So guys, just to go ahead and swap the hard drive, I did have the spare laptop hanging around. So I thought, let me just open it up, get the SSD from that particular hard drive and then swap it into my PS4. If you guys are looking for some good suggestions on which hard drive to swap your PS4 into, I'm gonna drop some links from Amazon. Go and check it out, guys. And probably that could be helpful for a 2TB. Just check them out in the description. All right, guys, with all of that set up, I'm gonna go and show you how to remove the hard drive right now. And this is a PS4 Fat, as mentioned. But however, if you are using a PS4 Slim, this is how you take the hard drive out. And I'm gonna drop this particular video's link in the description, go check it out. If at all you're using a PS4 Pro, then this is how you take the hard drive out in this particular fashion. And I'm gonna drop this link in the description as well. You guys can go and check that out on how to go ahead and take out this particular hard drives from these particular PS4s. And then you can come back to this video to see the rest of the process. All right guys, so this is the PS4 that I have, as I mentioned, it's a PS4 Fat, and I'm gonna show you how to remove the hard drive. So this is the hard drive I'm gonna go ahead and swap into it and I'm gonna go ahead and install 6.72 firmware from the beginning. So guys, remember before you start doing any work, I would suggest you to remove the power cables, of course, and tap the power button a few times so there's, you ensure there's no any static electricity left in this particular one. So if you look on the left side, uh, right over here, this is the panel that needs to come off. So the hard drive is actually right inside this one. So you need to go and slide this panel off towards the other side away from the PS4. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Unfortunately, guys, I have really sweaty palms and uh, this is the best way I could do it. So I just had to push ahead and that's it. It just comes off just like that. So once it comes off, you can just remove the panel. It just simply just slides off just like that. You can just take it out just like that. So if you look beneath it, that's the, where the hard drive is. I do have my 2TB hard drive that's right in there. So the only screw that you have to take for this one is this particular screw right here. Actually a pretty cute screw. It actually has all of the circle and triangle and square right there. So that's the screw you gotta take off. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So once you take the screw off, as mentioned, check it out. It actually has this triangle, a circle, a square, and an X. That's pretty cute. So yeah, once you have that taken out, all you have to do is simply just slide out the hard drive and that's simple as it is. You can just slide it out and then you'll have to remove the screws on all four sides. So that's what we're gonna do. So these are the screws on all four corners. Just go ahead and take them out. And once you take them out, you can go ahead and put in your new hard drive right in there. 
So guys, remember when you're putting the hard drive back in, this is a little tip over here. So when you actually place it in, do you see the part where it connects to the PS4? That part should actually go towards that side. So it should go this way in. So make sure that you place your hard drive the same way. And once you're done, then you can go ahead and screw it in and then slide it back into your PS4. So yeah, as mentioned, so go ahead and screw all four screws in. And once you're done with that, you're sliding it right back into the PS4. So it's kind of designed in a way to go ahead and just connect it automatically. And once you're done with that, put your back cover back on. And now we're good to go and try and boot this. Now remember, the hard drive that it is right now is actually, it's Mac booted. So basically it has nothing that the PS4 would understand. So we're going to go ahead and try and switch on the PS4 and just see exactly what, what actually happens. So guys, here we go. I'm going to put the PS4. The PS4 logo comes on, but then it switches off and restarts itself because it doesn't know what's happening. It cannot read the hard drive. And that's exactly when it tells you cannot start the PS4. Just like this. As it mentions, connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PS button. So that's exactly what I did. I connected the PS4 DualShock 4 controller. And then once you press the PS button, this is the message you're going to get. So guys, if you notice, it says connect to USB storage that contains an update file for reinstallation of version 6.72. So as you can see, it's not dependent on the hard drive, but actually is in the motherboard of the PS4 on which firmware you flash. So right now, the latest one that I had is 6.72 and it requests for a 6.72 as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect the external hard drive now, the one we copied the 6.72 recovery firmware into, and then we're going to see how we can go ahead and get this started. All right guys, so back again to this particular screen, but this time the hard drive plugged in with the 6.72 firmware. So what's gonna do, it's gonna go ahead and search the hard drive to find the recovery firmware for 6.72. And once it finds it, this is the message you're gonna get. PS4 will be initialized. All user data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? So you go ahead and click on yes. Not like we have an option. So let it initialize and then it's gonna go ahead and restart the PS4 to then prepare for the updating the system software. So guys, right after a restart, it's going to go ahead and install the update file that we have in the hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this until it goes and restarts after a successful complete. And there we go, guys. Check it out. Then, of course, go ahead and set up your PS4. And once you're done, I'm going to show you the firmware version. It's going to be 6.72. So there you go, guys. That's how you go ahead and replace your hard drive and start with a fresh firmware and still retain at the 6.72 and not having to upgrade to the latest one. All right, guys, so now that we've seen that, in case you want to go ahead and swap your hard drive, but keep all your games, your save games, just the way it was, and here's the ways you're going to do it. You've got to basically clone your hard drive using a specific application. For example, on Mac, you can use a carbon copy cloner. I'm going to open that up real quick. So it's basically a trial one. You can go ahead and use a trial. So guys, this is Carbon Copy Cloner. And as you can see here, you can choose your source. For example, you just have to go ahead and choose your PS4's hard drive here. And the destination should be the other hard drive, which you're going to be replacing with. For example, I'm going to choose this is my PS4 hard drive right now. Let's just say it's backup. And I want to go ahead and use the new one. Let's just say it's 2.5 GB, this particular one external hard drive. So now when you go ahead and click on clone, it's going to go ahead and absolutely copy the entire drive just the way it is to the way the partition is and so on and so forth just a carbon copy and that's what it's gonna do so once you get get that done you can go ahead and put this hard drive into the ps4 and it's gonna work like it was just working the way it was always working so that's how you go ahead and do it guys so guys for windows and this is a software they recommend that's macrium reflect free you can go and check this one out it has detailed instructions on how to get it done so once you go and get it done guys and also gives you another alternative for mac clone your drive with super Drooper. So you can also use the particular one, but personally, I prefer Carbon Copy Cloner because I've used this before and it's really reliable. So guys, this is how you go ahead and clone your hard drive into your new hard drive from the PS4's existing hard drive. That way you will not lose your games or any of that stuff. It's basically a hard drive upgrade while still having everything the way it was. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put my hard drive back in from the one that I previously swapped over. And I want to see if it works just the way it's supposed to work. And you're going to see in just a second. Let's check it out. And there you go, guys. It's going to boot and it's going to boot straight into my previously existing hard drive. Just the way it was with my same user, my same games, and even the theme that I was using previously. There you go, guys. So that's how it is. And um, just on a side note, I've been using Night King's Exploit, the one that's been recently 
launched i mean now there is a newer version that's 4.2 but this is in 4.1 and you guys as you can see i've been having tremendous success with this one it loads straight off it's using the new jailbreak and there you go 11 passes and zero fails so far it's actually been really really good and you guys can go check it out if you like to all right guys i really hope you found this video helpful if you did go ahead and drop it a subscribe drop it a like and drop me a comment let me know what you're planning to do to swap your hard drive upgrade your hard drive and i hope you enjoyed your videos guys uh, a lot more videos coming up so i'll be seeing you guys in the next video you have a great day and cheers guys